Good day everyone and welcome to another video and this one is going to be pretty unusual as as you can see it's in Minecraft and not just any normal survival world but this is my building world where I build stuff like these two apartment buildings I had built just a few weeks ago and today we are going to be working on not this but that thing in the distance there which is going to be my skyscraper and as you can see here I am going to be using world edit because the skyscrapers are basically impossible without it and they're very repetitive so now we first need to pick some colors so it's obviously going to be out of glass because it's modern and I think I'll use normal cyan stained glass because it just fits the most and then we need to pick a few colors for this. Now, this, these two wings or whatever you want to call them, they will stretch for like 8 floors, then they will stop like here. And the whole thing will go on for like 28 floors. And I'll just put up a quick drawing I made of this. Now, so let's pick some colors for these parts here. And I don't know, I don't think I'll use these mud bricks, but I think I'd like something along the lines of this, maybe more yellowish. So technically we could use terracotta, but then that has, that doesn't have much detail in it, so I'm not sure if it is the correct choice. Sandstone is a bit too bit too light so I don't think we'll use that either or we could just go for something completely different go for something grey or white or maybe we could use clay I think that could work pretty well with the stained glass I think yeah let's use clay and so let's replace this and now we also need some one more color and that color is going to be again used in this part because this will be like a block tall and then there will be windows here and i don't want to use clay here i want to add a stripe that kind of goes around the whole area here something that i did with this two here you can see this stripe so let's find a color that would work i'm aiming for something darker but similar to clay so one of my ideas is i could use wool but i think that's a bit too different so maybe concrete specifically concrete powder oh yeah i think that works oh no. let's just do this yeah, i think that fits but i still don't know about if we should use clay it's a bit well we can just replace it anytime so let's use something different and then we will see we may just replace it so Maybe packed mud could work. Maybe not. Normal mud is a bit too dark. Or we could maybe use this mud for those stripes. Um, actually, that doesn't look bad. Alright, I think I'll just leave it as is. Now let's do some windows. So I think I'll make the windows stretch down a bit. I don't know if the stripes will work and also each floor will be five blocks tall so I don't know about that. Let's just use this little trick that adds some depth and I think yeah looks good. I would love to see this with shaders someday but I currently don't have Optifine. I don't know even if the 1.20.4 Optifine version is out at this point. 
And I am using fabric for the world edit. Maybe let's make these a bit smaller. Yeah, that looks a bit better. Again, we can replace anything here anytime. Now also, let's see if we can add some stairs. As in, to make these windows blend in better. No, that doesn't work. That's a uh, wrong color. So let's leave it like that and we'll see later. Maybe I could try to use these bone blocks because they look pretty good. And I think they would work with the mud nicely. And they also work with quartz. So this could look good. Actually, let's just add them like this in this pattern and let's use quartz anywhere around the windows. Or let me see if that looks good. So to add some variation, yeah, I think that looks nice. I think that works pretty nicely. So that's, that's five, right. Yeah, we'll leave that and let's do some windows on this and then we will just copy that and use it there and there. So let's do some windows here. First, let's leave the stone here so we can then replace it with some different block. Right, and add these windows and I'm going to be adding them in these kinds of panes so they look better and so there's more variation and it's raining I forgot to turn off weather cycle so I'm just gonna do that now I'm gonna finish these now I don't know what I wanna do here I think I just won't do anything here and then we'll see because it's I'm gonna get covered by that and this thing I'm gonna do to fill in all these gaps is I'm just gonna use stained glass paints so like this and that's gonna be just gonna give it some depth and variation yeah so that looks pretty nice and I'll just link these up and I'll use these panes here too. And it's quite annoying that I don't have Optifine because all these lines are here. But I guess I'll have to live with that. Either way, because this is probably going to be meant to be viewed from far away, then it doesn't really matter. You won't see the lines. It will just blend into one thing. Yeah, so that's that done, and I'm gonna firstly copy all this, copy, and let's flip it north, I believe, and let's paste it here, yep, perfect. Now let's take all this and let's pick a nice spot where to copy it here. And so let's copy again. Let's flip east, should it be? I don't know. We'll see if it works. And now paste. Oh yeah, that did work. So that's cool. Now I'm just gonna take these windows quickly. And let's actually first measure them. Or before that I'll copy them. And so that's gonna be four and one block in the middle and then four. So, yeah, these fit. 
and where did I copy them? Here, I believe. So that would mean that I'll turn them, rotate them, 90, and then paste. Oh. Yeah, I had to rotate them uh, way more. Yeah, I had to rotate them 270, so we'll just add 180 onto that. And now we will paste. Yeah, that works. Now let's just add some of these, finish these walls off. And take this whole thing, copy it, paste. Nice. So that's finished, but we need to do something with the interior. I will do the interior after finishing the build itself, but still we need to do something here. Specifically, I would like to add a shear wall. And I'll explain what that is shortly after we add something here. So I'm just gonna make it grey wool. Nothing special. So that's now filled in. And let's fill this in and then I'll just fill it in by hand. And let's... So let's just fill it in by hand. And all this stone here, I'll replace that eventually when I'll work on the outside and all that. But now we need to firstly add the ceiling. That will be pretty straightforward. Just f do the same we did with the ground. So fill it in. And so yeah. This makes sense. So let's fill this in. Or maybe not. Let's firstly work on the shear wall. So now, as for the explanation of what a shear wall is, a shear wall is basically a skyscraper's core, and you have like elevators and stairwells in it. So I'll just make it here because this is the center. And I think we should add some elevators here. I'll lay that in clay. And I'm contemplating using bubble columns, but probably not. So yeah, that's going to be the elevators. And I'll use two of them. And then we will have stairwells, and those will be, I think, so, yeah, so we have some space to walk here. I'll just put them here. And so people can walk through here into the elevators and into the stairwells. Yeah, that looks like something. And... Let's fill this in, and now we can actually work on how these will look. So let me add some clay here, and I think the other accent color we will use will be just stone or accent block, and I think we just want to use any carpets in the stairwells so it gives off more of a gold vibe the stairwells aren't meant to be used much and I could have used world edit on this but I'm just not used to using world edit so I just forgot I had it so let's set this stone do the same here now stairs and those are going to be stone stairs. And just can't seem to place it. Alright, cool. And stairs have been added. I'll do the same here. 
go so we have stairs and I think I'll use iron for these and maybe some bone blocks and maybe actually let's move them forward by one block maybe we could use these here to make them stand up no or dark oak trapdoors if those are a possible solution because they kinda work with grey maybe what about science because these could add some depth to it yeah yes yeah, so that's gonna be the elevator shaft or I don't know how I feel about these yeah, let's leave it as that, before we mess it up even more. And so this now needs to be filled in with this. Now also, just looking at it from afar, an idea struck me while I was thinking, which is something I don't do very often, and that is that we could technically use copper for these stripes, because that kind of works with this color. Let's see, I'll just use waxed copper and some stars, probably not, that doesn't look the best, it just doesn't really fit much, and we can replace all these quartz whenever we want, so it's fine. Now let's finally finish this ceiling and floor here, so I'll first make the floor. And I'll just replace air with a grey carpet, no, grey wool, yeah, cool. And that actually doesn't replace this, so that's cool. And now I think I'll just fill this in by hand, and or maybe let's use mud for that, because I don't want to use the wool here much uh, with these panes because that always looks kind of weird so I'll just use this all right so I filled this in and now let's just get some gray wool here and even though wool edit may look a bit difficult to use and to learn it is a great tool and speeds up a ton of things and you'll see exactly how much it speeds up things very soon when we actually copy this and stack it like 10 floors so let's first just fill this in and now we will need to do the ceiling which will be a bit more difficult because I don't know where wall edit puts slabs by default, if it's on the top or if it's not, because I want to do the ceiling out of slabs, that will definitely look interesting, especially when we put in lights, which brings me to think that we may want to do it out of solid blocks, but then these windows wouldn't work, so let's just use slabs, now which kind of slab? I think we could go... Yeah, let's go with smooth quartz. I think that fits the best. So... Let's tell it to... Replace. And... We will replace it with... Smooth... Quartz. Uh oh. Yeah, so how do you do this? I believe it was something like this. And... I will stop. No. Yeah, it should be typed up, but I guess maybe let's use it with set. No. Oh, because I did this. So let's just change it, or we can just go up and now this should work. 
Oh no, it doesn't because maybe select it again. Well, let's see. What? It just doesn't wanna work. Uh, maybe it has to be like that. I guess it does work now. Oh yeah, because it isn't replacing air, it's replacing... Or, it isn't finding any air here. So let's replace smooth quartz. Yay! Alright, now it works. So, let's just clean these star walls up a bit. And do the same with these. And uh oh, we may or may not have a bat infestation. I'll take care of that later. And let's add some stone slabs here. Good. And also some here. Nice. Now I think that should be finished as far as the first floor goes which means that we can stack it now this is the part where well that it will shine and let's just bring the area over here and up here and make the second selection here now let's copy it and let's do stack and let me cross check with the plants so the plants say there should be 16 of these floors here. So let's do 16 up. Oh wow, that's tall. Let me just set it to day. Yeah, so that's not looking bad. Uh oh, I forgot to remove that. Although it is looking a bit wide, so I think we can do something on the ground later uh, to make it not look so wide. But other than that, it's fine. Let's see if the stairwells actually work. Yeah, that works. Yeah, we can... Oh. I forgot to change that. Yeah, so this is... There's obviously not meant to be an exit here. So let's just replace this on every floor. Which will be very fun. So I made some of the necessary fixes as well as I've added this ceiling part to these areas because I forgot to add it then. So now it's there. So now let's make the slope here. For this whole thing, for this whole roof, I'm going to use some copper blocks and so let's firstly lay this out. I think I'm gonna go for just a 1 to 1 ratio. And this should bring your eye towards the top because it kind of ascends like that. So you will look higher at the main part of the tower. So that's what we want. So let's now do that with these copper blocks. And I think I'm gonna move this a bit higher. Yeah, let me just do this and replace all of these. Now, I think I'm gonna also replace them with stairs because those just look a bit better. And now the problem is going to be trying to make these windows work. Because I wanna do a style where these basically kind of stretch into here. Which will be difficult, definitely very difficult. But I think we can do that. So I'm just gonna continue filling this in and I'm gonna meet you when it's done. So that's done, let's now remove this whole thing. I think I'm gonna start removing it from here. And just take it all like this and let's cut it. And it's gone. Now let's remove these windows, which will be a pain because removing panes is always a pain. 
and yeah, that's just very annoying how they are so small like that. Now we have a clean slate to do basically anything. So let's firstly build this this thing here. And now this will need to be well this one will need to be two thirds of the height of this one. And then this one will need to be one third of this one. So this will be then 13 blocks. And that's a very bad number for dividing by 3. So let's say that's 12. And so this is going to be 8 blocks. And this is going to be 4 blocks. Now this lays it all out nicely. And now let's actually maybe try to see what it does if we do this. And so I'm just gonna convert this pillar into something like that. And eventually connect them at the top. Alright, and now we need to do something with these windows. So firstly, I wanna do something with this pillar. And basically in the middle so i don't know maybe let's do it in this kind of pattern yeah that works and then the rest of this is just going to be windows so it's always difficult doing shapes like these in minecraft because well it's a block game so these just don't work well, but they're always better at bigger scales like this one, so at least we have that on our side. And now let's take a step back and let's see. I don't know about this. Doesn't look bad. Maybe we could even make it better with some quartz. And wait, where was that? So that was four blocks higher. Yeah, here. Yeah, I think that makes it better. Let's just add some mud here. And replace the lowest level with quartz stairs. Now I actually want to see what the view is from here. That's interesting. I think I'll use this for some kind of cafe if I build the interior. Alright, mud add it. And here too. Great, now that looks better. So let's also add some of this copper to the middle. So... Oh, that's weird. Alright, that works great. Yeah, I'm just going to continue filling these in. Alright, so I did it on both of the sides and I also added some texturing. So yeah, now it looks better, I'd say. Also one interesting thing is this, these stars are prismarine and very interestingly prismarine actually changes color. See how it's blue kind of now. Uh, so I think if we wait for a second it's gonna turn back to green almost something like this copper green. I'm gonna set the time today also. And I'm just gonna wait here for this to turn green. Yes, yeah, so, and now it's green. So it really does change color. But it works with the copper pretty well. So now let's work on this whole thing. And so I'm going to copy this floor and stack it one up. So let's do copy. And let's stack one up, is it? Yes, one up. And now what we need to do is we need to somehow plan this out. And I think that deleted one layer of the roof. Let's just fill that in. And now let's basically do the same thing that's here on these two sides. So we first need to lay out how the mud is 
and so we can see where and so basically this line is this line and that tells me that there is this thing wrong here and I think I'm gonna do it on one side and then copy it and paste it on this side so I think this should be as far as we go and then we will go back by three blocks like this and then just destroy all of this and have a seven block wide space here right yeah i think that's what we have to do and i'm gonna fill this in with the roof blocks too now i need to know how many floors we will go after we finish this area because there is basically it should go for like six more floors then it will get a bit thinner and then it will go to the top that doesn't matter right now and that's filled in now let's just cover it with glass that's just gonna be like that and it's gonna go this way actually let's add a few copper blocks here so the glass has something to connect to and here so now this is glass and let's add more glass and actually let's just add the whole thing so i think we can just stack it up by two yes like that and now i've removed all of my progress well i'm just gonna do what was here and fill all this in all right so that's that i've added four floors on and i've also brought it down by two floors because it wouldn't really work with the plants and now i think we should start working on the second part which is the part where this actually turns into a whole nother shape it will go something like this and that will be on all of the sides so that's going to be cool and it's going to be a bit easier using this shape than this one but first i think we need to do some more work with the glass and add in some railings now one thing i also want to try is to replace this with some walls and let me see which ones we could use let's use that right now let's see how that works huh let's try that on all of these corners and let's see if that will make it better yeah i think that looks better it helps divide these from these so now let's add some railings and i think i'll just do it by adding these glass blocks and then adding quartz slabs on top of them now i've added the uh, railings and yeah it looks better so let's just do this part and actually before we do that let's change up this floor here I'm just gonna use smooth stone here. Alright, so I've built this and I've copied it and so let's stack it. So um, for now let's do stack one up. And it actually looks like it's fine. Yeah, I think we can stack it higher. So let me check the plants. There are meant to be seven, eight floors of this. So let's do stack up seven and one, two, three, four, five six seven eight yeah so that's that and it doesn't look bad one big problem though i have with it is it doesn't feel connected so let's add some of these i think i have the command somewhere 
And yes, this. So let's just bring it all the way down here. And I'll just do it on all of these corners. And now I've added that. And it looks better. It looks like it's connected. So now, actually, let's step away and see it from afar. So that's that. Now let's add a sphere on the top of this. So now for the sphere that's gonna be here, what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna make a hollow sphere out of cyan glass. Wait, what? Why does it appear there? Oh yeah, cyan stained glass. And actually, wait, let me just do this. Nice. And now I'm just gonna delete the bottom part of it and then copy it and bring it over there. So let's just delete all this and I can't get out. Let's select the first position and then the second position. And actually, I think I'll already do it because I think I think we should make it 12 in the radius. Yeah, let's make it 12 and it will work a bit better with the idea I have for it. Again, H sphere and let's do 12. And actually, let's just use this one. Nice. That's better. And let's also cut it here. Good. Oh, there's still a platform here. And on the other side. But now what we will do is we'll just move it. And how I'm gonna do that is by copying it and cutting it and then pasting it on somewhere different. And by that I mean on the tower. So let's just clean out all this stuff here. And let's copy it. This is gonna be the first position. And this is gonna be the second one. Yeah, uh, that's a fail. Let's undo that. And let's now properly copy it. Great. Now there's this sphere. Right, so I think that looks good. I decided to use a sphere of 11 radius. And I smoothened this out. And I don't know, I think I could technically do an arch here too. Let's see if that would work. No, I don't think so. Well, let's just leave it as this. And now we need to add an antenna or something here. So I'm just gonna make a big space for that. And even bigger space actually. And let's actually also finish off the shear wall here. And that's gonna be a bit difficult because it's cramped here. But it should be fine. And do this. Copy it and stack it up by one. Nice. So let's remove all of this unnecessary stuff. And yeah, I'm just gonna make this look a bit better. And we also don't need the stairs there. So it's just, this will just be the end of the stairs and the elevators. And oh wow, that's a big elevator shaft. So let's just cover this up. And we don't need this to be so tall. So let's make it one block lower than this main part. 
and also remove those stairs. And let's cover this and remove the stairs. And now this is where the whole antenna thingy is going to start. So first I'm going to pick out the block I want it to be made out of. And we can either do quartz or we can do mud. I think I think quartz would look a bit better with this whole building. So let's first do this and now I'm gonna make the start of the antenna. Or it's not gonna be an antenna really. It's gonna be more of a more of an addition to it. Alright so I made this part and now let's work on the upper one. From the pants it looks like it should be somewhere around four floors tall. So what's this height? What height is this at? 153. So we'll go to 173. I think that works. So now let's kind of make it go into one. Merge it. Let's make it a bit more round. So I did some work on redesigning the top and added some lines here and there. And I think it looks better now. And I would say we are actually done. So that's that. Um, I might try using some different colors, but I think this is actually good. Yeah, I think that looks good. So let's just take a step back and reduce the FOV. And let's just check it out from from far. And now it's... Now I can't see anything. I think that actually looks good. Yeah, so I think I'm gonna end it off at that. Thanks for watching and see ya. Alright, so... Um, I know this is the end of the video, but um, I decided to do some more work on it after I got some feedback on a Discord server and they were right and I was also kind of right. I knew that something was wrong with this and I knew that it was somewhere around here and down there and the fact was that it was just not tall enough so I made it a lot taller and now it looks great way better than whatever it looked like before I'm going to turn off those clouds so we can see it fully and yeah I think that's way better so I guess see ya and I'm going to give you a nice view of the building with shaders.